Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing great. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to create a classy real estate flyer on Pixel 8, without wasting much of our time. Let's dive into the tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe, also hit the bell icon to get notified anytime new videos are being dropped. Let's meet in the video. Hey y'all, welcome back guys once again. So now, I'm going to change my background color to color white. Yes. So after doing that, I'm going to add from my gallery the building image I'll be using. I'm going to import it. So here is the building. So I'm going to flip it this side. Then I mark it. Yeah. So now I'm going to increase the image size. Then I will move it down. Can you see that? Yeah. So the next thing now is to blend it to my background. So after blending it, so I'm going to add a shape. Then I'm going to adjust it like this. Okay. So just watch carefully. Yeah. So this is going to reach here. Yeah. So now I move to my gradient fill. This bottom node is going to be in opacity, and the first node is going to be color white so i'm going to press ok yeah so now i'll move it down then i'm going to adjust it for the line of the image not to show again yeah so after doing that i'm going to lock my layers the next thing now is to import image from my gallery so i'll be importing this guy's image then i will mark it yeah so after doing this I'm just going to lock this layer then the next thing is to add a shape over here yeah so here is going to the shape is going to be like this then I will change the color to color green let me just select a green from the background yeah okay so I'm going to mark it the next thing now I will select image from my gallery as the texture so I'll select the image then I'll mark it. After that, I will increase the scale. Then I will reduce my opacity. After doing that, I'm going to zoom on my image. Okay, this image it does is is not necessary to add the texture. Just increase the opacity a little bit. Yeah, 95. Then I'm going to lock the layer. The next thing now is to type the amount. 2,000k and 1,000k. So I'll type the okay. Then I'm going to space it. One, two, three. One, one, two, three. Okay. Okay. So now I will move to my fonts. Then I will select the fractal. Fractal extra boot. Yeah. So after selecting it, I'm going to place it over here. Then I'm going to add a little shape. I'm going to place it in the middle of the price so i'm going to place that over here then my text color is going to be color white yeah so after doing that i think i have to reduce this opacity sorry so i'm just going to reduce the opacity yeah and the color i'm going to make it gradient so that's going to look cool so let me just add the gradients. I will add the side from the background. Yes. Then the outer node. I will select the other green. Yeah, then I'll make it darker. Yeah. So that is it. After doing that, you make sure this is aligned to the text. So I have to edit it. Let me reduce my opacity. Yes, then I'm going to adjust it like this. Okay. So this is good. Then you see this little shape, just edit it and move it down. Yeah. So now I'll type full price and half price. So I'm just going to type that full price. And I'll give it some spacing. The spacing must be much. And half price. Okay. Yeah. So I'll move to my font. Then I'll select the same font, but it's going to be a light one. 
fractal fractal regular or let me use fractal semi bold okay so the color is going to be color white yeah so i'll reduce my text size then i'm going to place it over there yeah so that is also good like that so let me just adjust this the two texts to be aligned in the middle so after that i'm going to zoom in once again so now i'm going to type a text over here need a so the a okay let's type the need yeah then the color is going to be gradients and this so the font is going to be fractal bold i ah, sorry fractal black yeah so we need to add a grid line over here to have a perfect alignment so you see i have the text at the end of that line then i will move to my texture where's the texture yeah then i'm going to add this as texture yeah so after adding that i will increase the radius then i'm going to reduce the opacity so it's okay like this then i'll duplicate it a cool yeah so i'm going to reduce that size then i'm going to place it over here also the line alignments yeah then i'm going to move it up yeah so the next thing now is to type a text so i'm going to type place to rent yeah so i think i'm going to duplicate this to give me that place to rent okay so let me increase my text size yeah then i'm going to increase this also the next thing i'll move it down okay so now i'm going to reduce this size then i'm going to place it on that so that's going to align to this yeah okay so now i will move it up yeah so it's okay like this then i will lock those layers okay so the next step now is to add the name of the estates on top so i'm just going to type other real estates group real estates okay agents okay so let's use the fractal semi bold and the alignment is going to be the left alignment yeah so now i'll place that also over here yeah so now i'll add the text and i'm going to type three dots yeah just the three dots and i'm going to move it here i'm just going to change the color to color black and this also is going to be in color black yeah so now i will lock the layer also I think I need to move them down a little bit. So from the need to the brand name, I'm going to move it down. Okay. So the next thing now is to type the location. So that will be here. Yeah. So the location is going to be the same font we are using. So this also is going to be on a line for alignment. So let me just add a line over here then i'll make it smaller i'll duplicate the text so i'm going to type yaba lagos state or oh, let me just type a random location so colos 25 station yeah so i need it to be in capital letter yeah so now that is okay i'm just going to move it to the line so that's going to be aligned yeah so the next thing is to add a little shape under just for a little design stuff and that okay so the color is going to be this color yeah so that is also okay like that 
and the next thing now is to type the contact information under here so now i'm going to type it contact yeah so the font is going to be my usual font then i will change the color to color black yeah so the i'm going to align it to this particular line then the contact information i'm going to type it right now so let's just say a random number plus two three four nine one five two three six five two then the next one plus two three four two one five eight seven six nine five yeah so i will increase the size then i'll change the color to this color yeah so that is okay like that so the next thing now is to just fix this color it is not fit on the flyer they need a cool place to rent so yes i'm going to do that firstly i'll lock my layers then you see everything on the page i will make them invisible then i'll leave the need a cool place to rent after that i'll give it transparent background and i'm going to save as image yeah after saving it just go back to your background color then make everything visible once again so after doing that i'm going to import the image back so i'll import it from my gallery I'll select the image then I'm going to mark it now I will increase the relative size then I'll change the color to this particular color so here is what I'm going to do I'm going to reduce the opacity so that I'm still going to have some touch of the background yeah so that is cool like that oh sorry yeah this is okay so now I'm going to save as image and I'll save to my gallery the next step now is to open my PSCC. So I'm going to open my CSC, PSCC right now. Here is my PSCC. So I'm going to open the project here. Yeah. And I'm going to add a tree image. Photos. Yeah. So now I'm going to duplicate it. Yeah. The first layer, I'll give it Gaussian blur. Yeah. And I'm going to transform it. I'm going to move it to the edge over here. Can you see that? And I'm going to mark it. The next thing is to give this also the same blur. Yes, and I'm going to transform that to this edge. So I just give it some rotation and I mark it. I think this is this is going to be. Let me undo that. Yeah, so right now I will add some lightning effects from my smartphone. So I just select it from my gallery. This is the lightning effects. I'm going to select it. Then I'll mark it. I'll move to my blend mode. I'll select the overlay. Oh, screen. Yeah, then I'm going to transform the image. It's going to be here. Then I'm going to mark it. So now I'll save this to my gallery. And I'll share it to my phone okay so after that i will open my photo room i mean lightroom so i'm going to select the image yes then let's adjust it the first thing is to increase your sharpening yeah we increase remove your effect i will increase my clarity and um, i love adding green to my design so i the green is in 16 percent then saturation you are going to increase that also and the vibrance just increase it a little bit then move to your details we have where we have clarity oh sorry i think it's in the effect so we have done that and we are good to go so now you just save to your device and our flyer is ready so guys thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you so much have a nice day guys bye bye